안녕 친구들, I'm your Korean friend Hailey, and today we're going to learn how to say will you? There are many situations that you want to ask. Will you close the window? Will you go shopping? Will you eat something? Will you drink something? Like you want to ask to someone, right? And then in this situation, what expression can you use? Today, we're going to learn that expression together. It's going to be really easy. You don't have to worry at all. And let's start with this expression. Okay, 친구들, so we came to the will you expression. So I wrote three verbs. So we're going to say, will you sleep? Will you eat? Will you study these expressions? Before we move on to this expression, you have to know what is 받침. 받침 is the last consonant. For example, like this. This is 간. And this is the first consonant. And this is the last consonant. And last consonant is called 받침. Okay, you got it till here? Okay. So you have to know what the pachim is, and then from now I'm going to call the last consonant as pachim. Okay, good. Let's move on. And I wrote no pachim. This is pachim, and then pachim, and then hada. What is this? So I have to tell you this. These are the verbs, right? And you know the Korean verbs has the meaning part and the grammar part. And tada. Ta is just the grammar part. It doesn't have any meaning. Ta doesn't have any meaning. And then the front part, this part is the meaning part. So when you see ta da, and you can see ta is the meaning part, and then ta is the grammar part. Okay, got it? Okay, and when you see the meaning part, there is no patim. There is no bachim. So I say this verb as no bachim verbs. And then look at the second part. This bokta. Bok, look at the meaning part. This is the bachim, right? So I say this is the bachim verbs. Okay? Okay, good job, everyone. And then there is one more verse. This is the hada verbs. The verbs end with the hada. When you're learning Korean, uh, we usually say there are three kinds of verbs, which is no pachim verbs, and then pachim verbs, and then hada verbs. Okay? These things you have to know while learning Korean. So till here, if you understand, that's amazing. And then we are going to change to the will you expression with these verbs. Okay? Good. And let's move on there. So right now, you want to say, will you sleep? Will you sleep? And how can you say that? Okay, first of all, you have to write this. Ta da, sleep. And then we're going to delete the ta. Mm, because it doesn't have any meaning. So I delete it. And then you will put le, le, yo. Will you sleep? Very good. So the verb with no pachim, we say leo. If you put leo and it becomes will you sleep? Okay, good. And then let's move on to the next verbs. Will you eat something? Will you eat something? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So first of all, you have to write 먹다. 먹다 in here. And then you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete the 다 because it doesn't have any meaning. So I delete it. And then I'm going to put 을래요? 을래요? So it becomes 먹을래요? 먹을래요? If I want to say, will you eat 라면? And you can say, 라면 먹을래요? 라면 먹을래요? Very good. Now you can ask to someone, will you eat ramen? 
And then you can say, 라면 먹을래요? Very good. And then we come to the last verb, which is 공부하다. 공부하다 is studying. What you're doing. Amazing. I want to give big applause to you. This is amazing that you're studying Korean. I'll do my best. Anyway, so 공부하다. Will you study? Will you study? If I want to say, will you study? And then, first of all, 공부하다. Write the 공부하다. And then, delete the 하다. Delete the 하다. Delete it. And then, you will put 할래요. 할래요. So, it becomes 공부할래요. 공부할래요? 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 For example, if you want to say, will you study Korean? And then you can say, 한국어 공부할래요? Like this. Okay? Okay, so the 받침 verbs, we will put 을래요. 을래요. And then the verbs with 하다, we will put 할래요, 할래요, okay? Good job, everyone. So we finished how to say, will you do something? Will you study? Will you eat? Will you sleep? We finished the expression. Very good, 친구들. I am so glad that we finished the will you expression. This is amazing. And from now on, you can ask many questions in Korea. I'm so happy. We finished this expression. This is amazing and I'm so proud of you. And I hope you enjoy this class as well. If you want to have more classes with me and I have my website, koreanhaley.com and then you can visit here and then you can register my class and you can follow me in the TikTok and Instagram as well. Thank you for coming and see you in the next time. 친구들, 안녕!